Tyrell Terry is a freshman point guard out of Stanford University that averaged 14.6 points per game, 4.5 rebounds per game, and 3.2 assists per game, and more than proved himself to be worthy of an NBA draft selection. He's got incredible range as a sharpshooter. Tremendous ability to score off the dribble. And he can set his teammates up for easy buckets. So, we have to ask ourselves a big question. How is someone as skilled and talented as Tyrell Terry not getting much hype by major NBA draft sites and analysts? Well, truth be told, I can't explain it for you. But what I can do is explain why I'm such a big fan of him and why I think he has a chance to come out as one of the best prospects in this draft. Let's get right to it. Ah yes, the three-point shot, the pinnacle of Tyrell Terry's skill set at the moment. Tyrell Terry can shoot the three in a variety of ways. He can shoot threes off the dribble. He can shoot threes out of the pick and roll. He can shoot threes coming down in transition. He can shoot threes off the catch. He can shoot threes off of screens. He can do it all when it comes to three-point shooting. He's one of the best off-ball moves in the draft. That's one of my favorite parts about him. He can play both on and off the ball, but off the ball, he's tremendous. Let's take a look at this play. He relocates, catches, shoots, nails the shot. And that's what he does time and time again. He, If you put him in a system like, let's say, for example, Golden State, because they love running the off-ball screen action, he's going to absolutely thrive because that's where he is really, really good. Now, I wouldn't say that's where he is best, but you could definitely make the case. He is excellent off of screens. And in transition, one of his favorite shots is the pull-up transition shot, where he will grab the ball, go down, and instead of going in for a layup, He'll just pull up for three. And I also think that, let's, oh, let's take a look at this play right here. Look, does a little pa a pass fake and then pulls up money. That's one of his favorite moves. And I just think Tyrell Terry is just a great shooter on and off the ball. I mean, he shoots 41% from three and he shot 89% for the foul line. Foul line percentage is actually, historically speaking, a more accurate way to predict future shooting percentages in the NBA than regular three-point percentage. Well, good for uh, Tyrell Terry. He's got both. Tyrell Terry's going to be able to come into the league, and even if he's not anything special right off the bat, he's going to be able to make an impact just based off of his shooting because that's his elite skill, and that is his best trait by far. Finishing ability. People are going to look at six foot two. They're going to look at his 170-pound-ish frame. And they're going to look at his lack of athleticism. And you're going to come to a conclusion that Tyrell Terry is not a good finisher. But I disagree. Tyrell Terry shot 59% at the rim in college, which isn't anything spectacular. But most of those misses were blocks because he's smaller than almost everyone on the court. He's only six foot three. However, he's extremely crafty. One of my favorite parts about him is that he's extremely crafty around the basket, and he knows how to use his small frame, and he extends his arms around the basket, and he can finish through contact better than people think. There are times where Tyrell Terry will go full into someone and finish straight up through contact. Let's take a look at this play right here. There's a little bit of contact. He uses his excellent touch off the basket, or this play. This is one of my favorite ones. Attacks the basket, heavy contact, and one. He's extremely crafty. He's got incredible touch. He's really tough for a, for a 6'3", you know, 170-pound guard. He is really tough, um, and he knows how to make the most of his, you know, small body. So I don't think he'll be, he's not a tremendous slasher or anything like that, but I would say that saying Tyrell Terry is a bad finisher is just wrong. I think he's got all the tools to at least be above average in the NBA. Playmaking, that's one of the most underrated aspects of his game. Again, you can it's easy to look at the numbers, 3.2 assists per game, and say, hey, that guy's not a good playmaker, but that's really not that true. He can make advanced reads, not often, but there are times where he makes really good reads, and then there are ones where he makes average ones, but he's smart, he's intelligent, he knows how to find open guys. The reason for those 3.2 assists per game, well, let me tell you something. No one on Stanford averaged more than 4 assists per game because they ran a motion offense, and they didn't really have Tyrell Terry, you know, handling the ball all the time, which is why he didn't have a super high usage rate. 
So Tyrell Terry, he's great in the pick and roll. He's got a great feel for the game. I don't think he's spectacular, but he's definitely a good playmaker. Let's look at this alley-oop. So what are his weaknesses? To be honest, he doesn't have a ton of weaknesses in his game. I mean, yes, he has smaller ones, but the two big ones for me are his athleticism, or lack thereof, and his defense. Now, his athleticism, it's not great, and in terms of like his natural height and size, it's also not great, but let's consider this. At the start of quarantine, he was six foot, and he was around 150 pounds. Now, he's more than 170, and he's six foot two. He gained two inches and nearly 20 pounds during quarantine. That's insane. If that's, if that's not work ethic, I don't know what is. This is a gym rat. This is a guy who wants to work hard and, and wants to improve. And that's why I think eventually, I'm not saying he's, you know, obviously he can't control his height. But I, I really think that if he continues to add strength, it's just going to be even better for him. And his defense, yeah, it, uh, undersized point guards in today's NBA are just always going to struggle. Unless you're a Fred Van Vliet, unless you're a Kyle Lowry or an Eric Bledsoe, unless you give extreme effort at all times, it is really really hard to be a great defensive point guard at six foot two but the only thing that you can ask for a guy that size is to compete and that's what terry does he gets in passing lanes he gets steals he's highly intelligent off the ball he's just a smart defender and he i think he can really overcome his lack of you know his lack of height his lack of size i really think he can overcome that if he continues to just play hard on that end of the court but outside of that tyrell terry has all the makings of a top point guard in the NBA. I'm not saying he's going to be a top five point guard. That would be crazy. But I do think that he has the traits to one day potentially be a top 10 point guard. When you look at some of the top prospects in this class, there are a lot of things that are really going to scare you away. For Anthony Edwards, you could look at the fact that he shot 40% from the field and 29% from three and doesn't really have much to offer outside of his inefficient scoring. You could look at LaMelo Ball's horrendous shooting percentages and you could also look at his horrendous defense and, you know, not be sold on him. You could also even look at James Wiseman. Doesn't really have any shooting or passing ability and just seems to be like a prototypical big man. But with Tyrell Terry, I really don't believe there is one weakness that is... Uh, he, he has weaknesses. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that there is no one weakness that makes me... That are going to make guys completely, you know are completely against taking him. Yes, his defense isn't great, but he plays extremely hard, and even though he may not have the size, if a guy's willing to play hard on that end of the court, that's all you can really ask of them. And his strength. He put up, he put on 15 to 20 pounds in the offseason, during the quarantine. This guy is committed to his body. He's an incredible worker. No one has seen such a dra drastic draft stock change like he has. And while he has definitely gotten higher on draft boards, I still think he's being underrated, especially by mainstream media. This is a guy that is a hard worker. This is someone that has continuously gotten better. He was supposed to be a red shirt in his freshman year and has worked his way up to a mid first round pick. He's an incredible offensive player. He can score, he can shoot, he can pass. He's incredibly smart. He knows how to use his body. He competes. I would bet on Tyrell Terry finishing as one of the top 10 prospects in this class. Make sure to not sleep on him. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to the Right Way Sports Network. Make sure to go follow us on all of our major media pages. I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.